Okay, that's all for the general overview of VRP. Now we will learn how to manage the device. We have different types of management. Actually, um, there are typically two commonly used management mode. One is called web system. That web system actually is very friendly to users. They can provide GUI for users so that the users can easily uh, access the device to do the management and maintenance. But however, some uh, advanced functions cannot be configured using this web system. And you can log in to the web system using HTTP or HTTPS. So that is actually a web browser. Another mode is called command line interface. So this interface actually can be provided by a device to manage and maintain the device. So you can um, access the command line window using uh, the console port or telnet uh, or SSH remote login. And usually professional are use this command line to configure the devices because it can provide a lot of refined device management command. So when user log in to the device through the command line mode, actually the system needs to allocate a user interface to manage and monitor the current session. Actually here they, they have two different kind of user interface. If the user access the device using the console port, then a console user interface will be allocated to the user. And if the user log in using the telnet, then there a, a virtual uh, user interface will be allocated. Also, the VRP platform provides the basic permission control functions. They can um, control the, the permission of the users and the command. So uh, for every user, they are given a certain level. And for every um, command, they are also given a certain level. So for the higher level user, they can do both low level command and high level command, for example, the management command. But for lower level users, they can only visit the system or monitor the system. So the uh, permission are limited for these low level users. Now let's look at how to log in the, using the web system or using the command line window. So first let's look at how to log in using the web system. This is an example of the web system. Actually, you can start a browser on the PC and enter this uh, web page. Then they can give you such a web page. And then uh, after input the username and password, you can log into the platform to control the system, control the device. So if you want to access using the web system, actually the device and your computer should be within the same local area network. Otherwise, you cannot access it. If we use the command line interface, um, we can either access the device locally by local login or by remote login. So if we log in using the local login, we can use this uh, zero part and console cable to connect our computer with this device. So in this end, you, you connect the line into the COM port, and in the device, you connect the console cable to the console port. Then you can use the PuTTY software to log into the device. So PuTTY actually is a connection software for login through Telnet, SSH, serial interface, and so on. So this is the PuTTY software configurations user interface. Uh, here, you need to uh, select this zero as connection type and also indicate the correct zero line and also the speed of this zero line. Then open it 
you can access the device correctly. Another login fun mode is to remotely log in. For remote login, actually, you don't need a direct console cable. Instead, if the device is connected to a local area network and your computer is also connected to this local area network, then you can remotely access the device. In that case, we also use this PuTTY software to do that. But instead, we will specify the connection type as SSH, for example, or Telnet, and then put the host name here and the port number here. Then you can correctly, successfully log in to the device. So uh, if you have already logged in to the device, then in the user interface, you can see such window, which is the command line window. So this Huawei actually is the prompt then you can enter the system view, uh, which we will introduce later.